Today I'm going to show you a quick little progression drill to help you get a better block. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the block. Uh, why is the block important? Well, the block allows you to deflect the energy that's coming down the runway. So as we're gathering more and more speed down the runway, when our foot hits the ground, that energy has to get deflected someplace, and we want it to be deflected into the flight line of, the, of your throw. So first point, whenever we're running into the block, we need our upper bodies to, the, to remain we need our bodies back at an angle so that when we make impact with the ground, there's some level of deflection moving up into that flight line. If all we do is just drop the foot down, there's no deflection. The energy just keeps on moving through. Okay. Uh, likewise, if it's too steep, maybe there's going to be too much of an impact and your body's not going to handle those, uh, those forces. So we have to find sort of the balance between that. All right. So one of the things that I'd like to think about is like, you know, as a kid, you play tug of war, right? And so the idea is you've got to lean away from the thing that's pulling you down the runway. So like for what I'm doing here, if I just kind of set up a scenario where, you know, I'm kind of doing a, a tug of war. If I hang on to the rope in that left hand, the idea is I want to pull back this way. I want to get my left leg out in front of me and I want my upper body to be back so this is kind of my throwing position here. My body's back. I'm going to run into that impact. So this is the idea in your head of the angles that you need to achieve. You can't do a tug of war like this. Otherwise, you just get pulled right into it. Likewise, if your leg is way out here, but the upper body is up, same idea. So we really need to get our upper body kind of sitting back a little bit. Okay. All right. Before we get too far into the video, this video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. So if you want to protect your internet privacy, ExpressVPN is a fantastic VPN. And support this video by supporting the sponsors. So the link is in the description box below. Okay, so the first step in this little progression is we're just going to balance back on that, on that back foot. And I want to think about, okay, I'm going to slide into my left leg and feel my foot slide inside my shoe and, and catch. Uh, if you don't have javelin uh, spikes, then maybe you can get some cleats or something and use it in the grass, but you need some sort of traction. If your shoes stick well enough to the ground, you're probably okay for these for this basic stuff, but I always suggest get spikes. All right, show you a different angle. Again, I'm just going to rock back on my back foot and then I kind of slide into it and I want to feel my the impact of that. Again, my foot sliding inside my shoe. You don't want to slide too much, maybe tighten up the laces, but I want to feel that little catch in my, in my shoe. All right. Now notice I'm not worrying about the upper body. I'm just trying to feel what does the lower body feel like? Okay. Just kind of catching. All right. Now, once you get comfortable with that feeling like, okay, the body's behind the block I'm catching that, you know, that solid ground. Now I want to start incorporating my left arm. The left arm is tied to the block. You can't block when you throw if the left arm is up when you hit your block. Okay, that means you have to really shove that left arm down really fast in order to produce your throw. So we've got to start getting the left arm into this timing of sliding into the block. So I'm going to start off here and I'm going to just slide and drop the arm and hit. Slide and hit slide and hit. I want to catch it. I want to feel like there's something solid there. Okay. Okay. So now we need to add the strike. We need to add some sort of throwing motion to this process. So we've already gone through the sliding into the block, holding it, getting the left arm now into the, the block as well. Now we got to add the strike. We got to separate these things just a little bit. So we're going to Again, rock back. We're going to drop the left arm as we slide into the block. I'm going to catch the block, and then I'm just going to turn and finish my throw. Okay? Rock back. Drop the left arm, sliding into it, catch, and then I'm going to roll into the throw. And I'm going to start making this faster, building and building and building. 
as we get more and more into the rhythm of it. So again, we're just trying to feel like we're gonna catch and convert, deflect. And I can kind of feel like the jarring has dissipated. I'm now transferring the energy. I don't feel my body coming to a stop. I feel like it's transferring low body to upper body. All right, so the next piece to this is going to be adding a strike where we've got some sort of, you know, object in our hand. We kind of build up to a throw. But in this case, we're going to have a little uh, rope. And I'm going to, again, go through the same, you know, process. Arm's going to start dropping, sliding into that block, feel a deflection, and strike. I'm going to feel like this is an efficient transfer of energy. I want to feel the contact of my left leg. And then just kind of let the upper body go. I'm not thinking about all the other little components to the throat. I'm just really thinking about feel the impact and respond to it. Feel the impact, deflect the energy. All right, so we're going to make this a little bit more complicated. We're going to add a little crossover to this. Again, the timing is pretty important. But also, I want you to feel like there's an impact and a deflection. So I add a little crossover. I'm not making this like super technical. I just want a very basic crossover where I'm moving a little bit, okay? I'm gonna use my left arm and kind of help me. Little cross, slide in, and turn. Little cross, slide in, and turn. Just trying to feel the impact. Again, feeling the deflection of that upper body taking over. You can always add this into like a five step. So I can add maybe a walking five step. Where I'm just gonna walk and cross, slide and convert. Uh, generally speaking, I don't wanna do recovery steps. I just want to feel like the impact of the block and the deflection of the upper body. As you start moving on the runway, this is going to get much more complicated. You're going to get deflected off the block, get airborne, and take those recovery steps. All right, I will leave it there. If you have any questions or comments, put them in that comment section below. If you like videos like this, go ahead and hit that bell icon and that will notify you each time I post a new video. Share this video with a friend, that would be fantastic. That would definitely help grow the audience. And until I see you next time, have fun and throw far.